Hello, my name is Wolfgang Lamprecht. I'm a product manager for Transmitters. My colleagues and me are going to present you the easy installation of our new transmitter Testo 6448. If you have questions afterwards, please don't hesitate to contact our application service. Before we install the 6448 under pressure, we need to make some preparations before. First, we need the Testo 6448 transmitter, the tapping clamp in the right diameter, the ball valve, a special driller to drill the hole under pressure, and the connection cable to get the power supply and send measurement values. To install the 6448 under pressure, we need also some tools. First, sandpaper to remove the pipe from unevenness, a cleaner to clean the area of the pipe where the tapping clamp will be installed, pipe tongs um, to keep the tapping clamp in location, different wrenches to tighten the tapping clamp, ball valve and transmitter, teflon tape to seal screws of valve and transmitter, Cloth um, to catch a uh, swarf and a torquey wrench to uh, tighten the tapping clamp with the, with the correct power. Before we start with drilling, we have to put the different pieces together. First step is take the metal bar and the driller and screw it together. Then push the metal bar uh, into this metal seal till the limit. Then screw the metal piece, piece into the metal seal. Hand tight is okay. And then, last but not least, take the feeder, push it onto the metal bar and screw it for some rotations to the metal seal. So, now the driller is built up together and ready to use for drilling. Here you can see the gasket of the tapping clamp. The gasket has to fit perfectly on the pipe, therefore we have to prepare the pipe before. To prepare the pipe we use some sandpaper and a cleaner. Now we remove the pipe from unevenness. This take a while. Of course, depending on the age and the condition of the pipe, it could be that you need stronger tools than just sandpaper. Finally, we clean the pipe. Now the pipe is prepared to install the tapping clamp. After preparing the pipe, we can install the tapping clamp. First, we have to mount the tapping clamp to the pipe and fix it with the screw nut. Please be aware of that you install the tapping clamp into the direction the air goes. The error 
on the clamp shows how it has to be installed. Here you see how the tapping clamp fits to the pipe before tighten the nut. Now we can use the wrench to tighten the nut. Like you see, do tighten the nut step by step. Do not tighten each nut at once. This would cause a leak between tapping clamp and pipe. For the final stress, please use the Torquey wrench. The Torquey level will be found in the manual. After tighten the nut, the tapping clamp is installed. Now you see that the tapping clamp fits perfectly on the pipe. The ball valve is one of the most important security parts for the installation of the 6448 under pressure. Before screw the ball valve onto the tapping clamp, use some Teflon tape around the screw before. Furthermore, add a gasket between tapping clamp and ball valve. Now screw the ball valve into the thread of the tapping clamp and tight it. Please make sure that the lever of the ball valve is always in the correct position during the installation. The reason why we have to install the 6448 before drilling the hole is that we need to know the value on the scale when a transmitter beer on the top of the pipe. We need this value afterwards during the transmitter installation to adjust the probe of the transmitter to the middle of the pipe. To do that you have to make a few steps. First, make sure the ball valve is opened. Second, screw the transmitter on the ball valve and tighten it with a wrench. Third, Press the transmitter to the end limit. 
4. Read and notate the value on the scale. Before you uninstall the transmitter, you should also prove if the tapping clamp fits leakproof on the pipe. Herefore, mount a compressed air hose to the ball valve. If you hear no sound of the compressed air, the tapping clamp fits leakproof on the pipe. The last point is uninstall the transmitter. Now we are going to install the driller which we prepared before. Before installing the driller it's useful to use some teflon tape on the screw. Screw the driller inside the thread of the ball valve. For drilling, the ball valve has to be open. Now, press the driller down till the outer wall of the pipe. Before drilling, the most important point is to mount the security bolt plus the security ring. The last point is to open the valve on the driller. If this swarf is opened, all swarf of the drilling will be caught inside the filter and no swarf will be inside the pipe. The drilling process will take some time. During the drilling I'm going to explain you the functions of the different parts of the driller. The level drill is for rotating the driller. The feeder is regulating the feed rate. Please consider that you drill in metal. Do not use too much power to regulate the feed rate. That will destroy the driller. During the drilling, do never open any screws. If you let rotate the driller with the level drill, you will recognize on some point that there is nearly no resistance on drilling. At this point, just use the feeder to push forward the driller a little bit. Continue this approach till the driller is through the pipe. If you are through the pipe, you will hear the compressed air out of the valve on the driller. Continue with the drilling till the volume is not growing anymore. Before you start to uninstall the driller, please prove that all screws are tightened. Now we have to uninstall the bolt. At this point, the driller can hit back till the back stop. Keep your body away from this area. If the driller isn't coming out by itself, try with shaking and rotating to force the recoil of the driller. If the driller is on his end point, close the ball valve. If the ball valve is closed, you can remove the driller.
When a driller is removed, you'll see some swarf on the top of the ball valve. To remove them, just open the ball valve a little bit and catch the swarf with some cloth. After the drilling, you'll recognize the big advantage of the tester driller. No swarf will be entered the pipe during the installation. Before installing the 6448, use some Teflon tape on the screw. Screw the 6448 inside the thread of the ball valve and tie it with the wrench. Make sure that the housing of the transmitter is showing into the direction of the compressed airflow. If so, the sensor in the middle of the pipe is adjusted correctly. Just in the case the 6448 is tightened, open the ball valve. Now press the transmitter inside the pipe. If you remove the pressure of pressing, you'll see the transmitter will not hit back. That's the, a big advantage compared to our competitors. The reason why the transmitter does not hit back is related to the recoil protection. Now we have to adjust the transmitter to the middle of the pipe. To do that, add the outer radius of the pipe to the scale you assigned before and adjust the transmitter to this value. Now the transmitter should be on the middle of the pipe. After the adjustment of the 6448, screw the scale of the transmitter tight. The transmitter is installed mechanically now and after the easy electrical installation, the 6448 is ready to use. To uninstall the 6448, you just have to close the ball valve and open the screw of the transmitter. After the uninstallation of the transmitters, you also can use this transmitter to another pipe of the compressed air system where the tapping clamp is installed. Thank you for your attention. If you have further questions due to the installation of the 6448, please do not hesitate to contact our application service.